Hi, I'm Kurt, and I'm going to show you how to make a large-scale pillow box using the Template Studio. The Template Studio works with standard size poster board that you can pick up at any grocery store. We Are Memory Keepers also has a new line of designer poster board that comes in a variety of colors and patterns, as well as foil, craft, and glitter. To get started, I'm going to pull out my instruction cards. In it, it has all of the sizes and measurements that I'll need to reference, as well as a set of step-by-step -step instructions that I'll be going through with you here today. Your guides come with two sizes. There's an extra large size, which has a finished size of about 8 inches once it's finished. And then the large one has about a 5 and a quarter inch open once it's finished. I'll be using the extra large template guide today. Now I will be making the pillow box that's the second one down, which has a finished size of 8 by 16 and 3 quarters by 3 and a quarter. And I need to cut my paper down to 19 by 20 and a half. I do that by taking my A and B template guides that come with my starter kit, and I'm going to align the arrow at 19 and just snap it into the mat just like that. And then I'm going to cut along the side that has the arrow, just like that. Okay, now I'm going to take this, I'm going to disconnect that, and I'm going to align B and C together, and I'm going to align the arrows at 20 and a half this time, making sure that my paper is nice and square there at the bottom. And now I'm going to cut along the edge with the arrow. And as I cut, I like to make sure that I hold this in place so it doesn't wiggle on me. And there is my finished paper size. Now I'm going to take my paper and align it into the lower left-hand corner, aligning it to 0 and 22, as it says in the instructions. And now I'm going to reference the pillow box placement guides and it has all of the measurements of where we will be moving this along the bottom. The first measurement we're aligning it to is zero. Now we're going to take our gray cutting blade and we're going to cut along the bottom inside edge. And then we're going to take our scoring blue blade and run it along the top inside edge. And now we're going to move it to our next measurement, which is nine. And we're going to repeat that, cutting along the bottom inside edge, and then scoring along the top inside edge. Now I moved to my last one, which you'll see it's not a full panel, it's just a partial panel there. And I'm going to take this and not cut along the bottom, I'm going to cut along the top inside edge. And that's going to give me my tab that I glue together when I'm all finished. Just remove that. Now I'm going to take my paper and flip it upside down, aligning it at the bottom corner again. And now I'm going to repeat exactly what I did at the same measurements. So starting at zero, and I'm going to cut and score just as I did before. Now if you're familiar with our pillow box punch board, this works in the exact same way just on a much larger scale. Score. All right, and then our last measurement, making sure to cut along the top side once again. OK. Just remove the excess paper. Now I'm going to leave my paper here in place. And I'm going to connect A and B together once again. And I'm going to align these at each one of these scoring placements as called out in the instructions. So the first one is 9. And I'm going to score along here. And these scorings, you'll be able to make sure it's the right place because it's going to align right in the center of the valley of the two pillow box openings. And then it's going to align right here along the edge of our paper tab. And now we can do, we can start folding. You, know, you just fold along each one of the score lines, just like that. And now you can fold along each one of the pillow box opening score lines. I like to start in the middle and then work my way up to the edge. 
starting in the middle of it and then working my way up to the edge. Now you'll notice in the instructions, there's lots of different sizes for each of this, for the extra large pillow box guide as well as the large. The only thing that's different, they all have the same width and the same opening size. The th thing that changes is the opening right here in between the pillow box guide openings. So that's the only thing that's changing on you. So it just depends if you want it to be a long one or a short one. Okay, now that that's in place, it should like, like, look like this. And now I can glue it together. I like to use a nice permanent adhesive such as this red tape or a hot glue gun. Now I have a strip of permanent tape already cut for me. I'm just gonna run it along this edge. Okay. And then I just fold this over on itself to align it in place. Okay. And now we can take this and fold in one side. and fold in the other. And now we have this opening, so you can insert your gift or whatever you would like inside. Fold it in here, and then finish it by folding in the last side. And there you have it, your finished pillow box. So this is just one of the many projects you can make using the Template Studio. Be sure to check out our other instructional videos.